There's no other sporting event on an annual basis that matches up to the Tour de France as an achievement. For the cyclists, just like three weeks of pain, unbelievable concentration. It's so hard and so demanding. It's the, uh, the pinnacle of the sport. Tour de France is for sure the biggest cycling event ever. Some situations are quite dangerous because not everybody knows how fast we go through or how dangerous it really is. I have seen grown journalists in tears because they're frightened to death going down the mountains in a car. You go out riding your bike for seven hours, seven hours, seven hours. It's raining, it might snow. I think suffering in cycling is basically the key to success. You look at the mountains, you climb three of them in a day, each of them being 20 miles high, and you ride for five or six hours. Then you repeat it next day and the next and the next. The challenges are immense just to complete the route. Everybody knows firsthand how much suffering it requires to actually just survive the tour. Think this is normal? No. Ask the, ask the ambulance there. Trust me, when the zero guy is moving up, nobody tries. So stay together. Today you don't have the radios. You really have to fight to stay together. So I sat the guys down in the bus on that morning. I said, please, guys, I can do this. But I need every single one of you. Sprinters have to be an extrovert in character. They're like boxers. You've got to get in there and say, I'm going to win. I want to kill this guy. I want to knock him to the ground. And that's what a sprinter has to do. But at the moment, it's definitely Colombia who once again, at four kilometers, have taken this race and they are showing the others how to lead out a sprint. 